Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a new feature in TrueSight capacity optimization regarding how to create visual maps and provide the use on the in the custom views. Coming with 10.7 and now also 11.0, there is a feature that allows you to create visual maps as it used to be uh, in the old capacity optimization console. In this new feature, we can draw different elements art image and text box. Let me use here. Yeah, you could also have different symbols you can add. We'll see a couple of those in, in a short demo video in a moment. But also you can add pie charts and bar charts that are dynamic to represent their different components. And you can associate <coughs> symbols or text with the entity which reflect the statue and from each of the components you can drill in context to a, a different pages. This is very important for the customer because it allows them to quickly visually identify the components that they see in the page. Each of the pages you create we get a say associated with the data mart and from there you can quickly choose the components you will use creating the, the custom view. And here are some few examples to be easily understand. For example, you can, there are more symbols, you got like the sales status, you can associate any icon to a metric component and put a status on that. Or these are the pies and you can associate each of these to server utilization, whatever, and they will change accordingly to the, to the metric. And also interesting, you can put any text and uh, any component that has thresholds that you see below here. And you will see this kind of text appear in the custom view. So let's see how this looks in the demo right now. So when you are in the product, the first thing you're going to do is get into the administration capacity view. And then here, click Add and create a new view. So Let's call this service business architecture with that is service business over here. And I will put this in a particular view. I, I put it in the custom view, but you can choose where you want to put it. And then when you create the, the view, you have several options. In this particular case, we are going to use the visual map template, which is the one we were talking so create this one. Perfect. So we start with a blank sheet. We put a name here, page 01. And the first thing you need to do is select the data mart. There are a bunch of data marts. I will select this particular one, which has the servers. If you get want to know more about the data marts, you can go to the capacity console, advanced reporting, data marts, and you see all there. If you click on any of those, you get the details and the metrics that you know for each data mart. In this particular case, going back to the custom view, after you select the data mart, you get the, the identifier for the records and the name that it will be displayed. In this particular case, I'm going to use the name of the, the component, which is the kind of the server name, because we're at server data mart. The first thing I'm going to do is get a picture that's going to be in my background. So in this case, it's going to be an architecture, which I want to put, see the different components. This is from, I see the different parts of an architecture. And I want to represent the usage of these components. So I will use the circle, but you, of course, you can use any one you want. And I'm going to say, OK, this circle goes here, for example. And when, once it's there, you can edit. I'm going to, so first, what you get here, you get to choose which server you want. I'm going to select anyone. I will choose also this drill down capability. Telling when I click on this circle, where it's going to take me. It could be a page on this same view, or could be other view. In particular, I will drill down to servers. Get a, Data Center, no, here. Data Explorer, servers, I'm going to 
I want to drill down here. That's another page that already exists. And then, finally, you choose, OK, which metric? In this case, I'm going to choose CPU. And I will put 60 and 70 for the threshold. So when I apply this, you already changed and modified status. Now that I have this one, I will clone it three times to make it easier. Put it everyone here. So for this one, I will click it just so you can see the final of this. Um, so for example, let's take this one and apply. This happens to be in yellow. This one, take a different one. So we can we just do one more so you, you get the idea how will this look in a final configuration. Apply. Of course, we can add a lot of things. We leave that for another moment, but, but you will get the idea. So when you save this, this is your view. So we, you can quickly realize what's going on on your service or in your infrastructure. And if you, for example, say, oh, this is red, you can click here, and you drill down directly into that server. And I forgot to put something there. But you get the idea. So with that,